What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you have a Google Home device, whether it's a Google Home, or the Google Home Hub, or the, even the Google Home Mini, doesn't matter, and if you have a hard time connecting to the Wi-Fi or the internet, then I'm gonna give you some solutions, hopefully, to get you up and running. One is, can be interference. So if you have interference in your home, whether it's another wireless device interfering with your Google Home, or you could have a barrier blocking the signal from your Wi-Fi router to your Google Home. If you're having a hard time setting up the Google Home, you wanna take the Google Home as close as possible to the wireless router that you're setting it up to and set it up right next to it, like maybe within three feet of the wireless router. Now, after you set it up, then you can move it to back to that location. If it works uh, over near the wireless router, when, but when you move it to that location where you want to leave it at, then something in that vicinity is causing either interference or it could be um, something blocking the signal. It could be a refrigerator. A refrigerator will block the signal from the wireless router to your Google Home. It could be a microwave. It could be another wireless device, uh, like a computer. So two is reset the wireless router and the Google Home. Unplug the power cord from the wireless router for about one minute and plug it back in. Wait about a full two to three minutes before the wireless router is back online. You'll know it's back online when all the lights light up and uh, um, online or internet light lights up solid. Next, you wanna make sure your Google Home app is updated and select the Google Home device that you want to reboot. Then select device settings on the upper right hand corner. Then on the upper right hand corner, select the three dots and select reboot and click on OK. Now, if that doesn't fix your issue, you may want to reset the Google Home. You can unplug the power cord to the Google Home for about one minute, plug it back in. That's called a hard reset. That would fix any kind of like, you know, bugs or anything in the software. But if you have a bad update or something's corrupted in the software in the Google Home or um, an update failed to properly install on the Google Home, you may have to factory reset the Google Home. Now to factory reset the Google Home or the Google Home Hub or even the Google Home Mini, they all have buttons uh, either under the Google Home or in the back of the Google Home device. So on the original Google Home, you press and hold this button right here, it'll prompt you. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. On the Google Home Hub, there's the volume rocker right here. You press the volume up and the volume down at the same time. And then you'll get this prompt You're on the about screen. To complete after you factory reset the Google Home, you wanna update the Google Home app and proceed with the setup. And that would hopefully fix any kind of bugs that the old software or firmware um, had. Now, if you went through the other possible solutions and you're still having issues, it could be because you're connecting to the wrong network. Now, there's two possible networks. On my router, I have a five gigahertz network and on the same router, I have a 2.4 gigahertz network. The five gigahertz network gives me higher speeds at a shorter range. So if I'm in the same room, then that's great. But if you're in a different room, like maybe 20 feet away in a different room, you may want to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network. You'll know the difference is because one will have a 5G after it and the other will have a 2.4G after it. Now, if that still doesn't solve your issue, then you may have to go into the configuration settings in your wireless router. To check the settings on your wireless router, you need a computer, enter the username and password, then it'll allow you access to change or even look at these settings. You wanna select wireless, then check wireless channel. Usually it's set to auto. Some people have luck changing it to channel nine or channel 11. You have to test it out for yourself. Also, you wanna check and see if your router only allows for a certain number of IP addresses or devices connected to that wireless router. If it's set to, for example, only 10, then the 11th device connecting to that wireless router will be rejected. Usually most wireless routers will allow 250 devices unless it's configured to only allow 10 devices or a certain number. If this video helps you out, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech.
click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you want to check out my other Google tutorials, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.